this is Kim. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to delete a printer in Windows 10. There are two ways to do it. Uh, one way doesn't always work, so I'm going to show you two ways. The first most straightforward easy way is you go to Start, click the gear for Settings, go to Devices, Printers and Scanners, and you find the one you want to delete. Let's say it's this one. You just click on it. Remove device. Are you sure? Yes. And it's gone. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you'll click delete and it'll just sit there. You'll say, yes, I want to delete it, but it just never deletes. So there's another place to go to get rid of it. Go down here to your search box, type in control panel. Okay, and then right here is de View Devices and Printers. So let's say this one we tried to delete in Windows 10 settings and it wouldn't let us. A lot of times it won't delete because there's something in the queue, like a, a document that aired out or didn't print for whatever reason. So what you need to do is go into the queue and delete that document. There's two ways to do it. First, you just click on it, go up here, see what's printing. It'll tell you. This obviously doesn't have anything in it, but if it did, it would, they'd be listed. You just highlight one, click on document, and print, cancel. And then it takes a minute, and it'll get rid of all the... You have to do each one individually if there's multiple documents in there. But as soon as all the documents are gone, then you can go down here and click on remove device. You can also right mouse click see what's printing, takes you to that same screen, right mouse click, remove device. Are you sure you wanted to move it? Yes. So now it's going to go through and remove it. So it's pretty easy. So essentially those are the two best ways to remove a printer in Windows 10. Remember to check and see if there's any documents stuck in the printer queue. Um, if you have any problem deleting, that's usually the culprit. And also keep the list of printers cleaned out by deleting printers you no longer have. If you get a new printer, just delete the old one while you're in there. It will really make things less confusing for you in the long run. You won't accidentally be trying to print to a printer that no longer exists. <laughs> um, oh, and also I forgot to mention that Windows Update will automatically update the drivers for the printer. So make sure you do your Windows updates often. So uh, I hope you found this helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.